HQ. Zesty work. Zesty. Zesty work. We're feeling zesty. Absolutely. Hey, folks, good morning. Today is Saturday, November 21st. I'm Reynolds Wolf. And I'm Kate Parker. We are keeping an eye on winter storm Bella. This quick moving system leaving some pretty big impacts. In fact, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that was a promo, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey. hey, look at this. We've got Bella. There it is, flexing its muscles. Rain in some places. Uh, but what we're seeing is, is really a travel nightmare for a lot of folks here, Kate. Oh, yes. I mean, all the way down to I-70, we're having travel problems. Uh, but this, you know, sometimes we talk about high pressure being our friend. It's going to be our enemy as far as cold weather is concerned because we have a lot of it that's making its way all the way into the southern plains. Absolutely, and as that comes crashing down, uh, take a look at the boom we're going to be seeing out towards the west. Plenty of sunshine, Ooh. fantastic, but possibly breezy conditions in Los Angeles. Uh, fire dangers could be a possibility in a lot of places in the San Joaquin Valley. This just looks terrible to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's chock full of the ugly. We've got Mike Seidel there who's just waking up. We're going to get with him in just a little bit. Hey, let's take a look at some of the cities that are going to be impacted. Obviously, you mentioned Chicago. Chicago, definitely one of the cities that will be impacted, not to mention Indianapolis, St. Louis. Um, you know, the thing in Indianapolis, you're going to be on that fine line. It's going to be kind of like a hit or miss with the snow, kind of a mixture through the day. And St. Louis is going to be more rain. But Chicago, you know that it snowed hard yesterday. It was uh, a record. And we have more still coming down, another 10 hours left in this. So take a look at this uh, with our winter storm warnings where those exist all the way from Des Moines to Chicago, that stretch there. It reaches up into Madison and Milwaukee, but just north of there you go into a winter weather advisory rather than a winter uh, storm warning. Davenport, ooh, you're just getting slammed this morning as well. Notice all of Michigan getting into this action as well. Look at what's happening. These uh, darker areas of blue, just tremendous snowfall rates and see how it moved through the night stretched across Iowa now making its way and just consistently snowing in Chicago Peoria you're kind of on the line you know you were in that rain mix and now you can transfer to over into snow as those temperatures dropped overnight and you've got a lot of cold air behind this so once the cold air moves in you're not going to see raindrops you're sticking with the snow here's a uh, Dubuque oh just to your south lots of snow there along 88 you're going to have some very some tremendous travel problems. I would just go ahead and say stay at home. Whatever your Saturday plans were, uh, it's not safe to be out driving from Cedar Rapids all the way to Chicago. Uh, I mean, it's just not. Rockford, you're also getting slammed up into Madison. Madison, you're starting to get into the lighter snowflakes, fortunately, kind of the tail end of some of this moisture. But this is a significant system. Uh, and you'll notice that it's stretching now into South Bend, Notre Dame. You're getting the snow. Uh, and look at some of the heavier stuff starting to move into Gary as well. And then we go into Detroit and you have snow as well. Snow for everybody with this winter storm. Uh, Lansing, no travel here, especially if you're going to Detroit or vice versa, because this is going to be dangerous commuting. Uh, if you're heading to Toledo North, 275, big problem for you there. 94, a big problem as well. As you can see, 75 also getting its fair share of snow. Cleveland, you're kind of in that mix on that rain snow line right now, Reynolds. Well, that is just crazy. Hey, you know, Kate, uh, your Saturday plans, they uh -huh. are out of here. So bill millions of Americans really bundled up this weekend. Coming up, we're going to take a closer look at which state temperature is being below freezing overnight. The ground still has plenty of warmth in it, so that it likely is going to keep the roadways not quite as bad as they could be, but it's not worth the risk. Absolutely not worth the risk, right? 29 degrees currently. Snow kind of dwindling down a little bit in Des Moines, right? Let's take a look at Cedar Rapids because it's really <laughs> coming down there. In fact, look at your forecast in Des Moines. You're going to see the temperatures fall once the snow stops. So maybe you want the snow to keep going because it's at least going to keep your temperatures close to 30. This afternoon and early this morning, you're going to be down close to 20 degrees. At least it's going to be sunny, but you still are going to see frozen patches because, again, the temperatures are going to stay very, very cold. Chicago still getting slammed. I know we keep talking about Chicago. We know there's uh, all the way south through Peoria that we're getting a lot of those snow right now. Springfield's still in the rain. Look at Fort Wayne, Indiana, getting lots of snow and into Detroit as well. Lansing, Michigan, you're going to have a tough morning commute to boot. And if you're driving along any of these 94, 75, uh, 80, you're going to have some significant travel problems today. And I know that there's a lot of college football games and folks that are trying to get out with them, out to them and get going like Northwestern versus Wisconsin. Yeah, what's that game going to look like? Not so good. Um, uh, lots of snow coming down. So if you're trying to travel to the game, please be careful. Seriously, guys, uh, this is not easy travel weather. And I know that in Wisconsin, you're like, I'm used to the snow. It's been a minute, right? 
it's been since last winter since you've seen this kind of snow so please be careful and it's going to be incredibly cold during the game at 2 30 this afternoon your high gonna be gonna be in the 30 degree range so you're staying below freezing and then on top of that the winds out of the northwest it is going to be bitter cold and then you've got the snow on the ground to boot uh, definitely lots of layers hot hands I say a good bet today <laughs> Put those in your gloves, uh, in your boots, anywhere you can. Clemson, still chilly, actually. Great football weather, though. A little cloudy. Wake Forest, this is against Clemson Tigers. They're number one. We'll see how Wake Forest does. Uh, that's until about 55 degrees is what you can expect. Uh, wind's going to be nice and calm for you today at 3.30 in the afternoon. How about this game? Oxford, Mississippi, it's LSU versus Ole Miss. That's a big game, right? A little bit of that shower action possible this afternoon, especially kickoff at 2.30. By 4, we could see a couple raindrops. So be prepared for that. Might want to bring the poncho with you just in case. And then in Miami at the U, it's Georgia Tech going down to South Florida. And hey, big surprise, thunderstorms in the forecast. Who would have thought in South Florida, Reynolds? That's crazy. Hey, are you impressed as I am with the